Today, to help me understand a little bit more, we've got Andrew Shovlin, so the Mercedes AMG Petronas Formula One team, trackside engineering director, uh, more commonly known as Shove. Shove, great to see you. Thanks for joining me. Good morning. How are you doing? Yeah, really good. Thanks. And um, I'm hoping you can help bring to light some of the uh, things around car setup. Uh, so some of the terminologies that we hear. And I want to start by asking you um, about what is meant by vehicle dynamics. Well, vehicle dynamics is basically the study of cars going around corners or accelerating, decelerating, or even the ride of the car. So it's um, a bit like the sort of movement side of the aerodynamics. Um, there's a lot of physics and a lot of mathematics involved in it. And it's basically a field of modeling where we're trying to use simulations to predict what the car is going to do or to sort of augment the, um, the information you, that you're getting off the sensors. So we hear the term car balance and the driver's talking about the feel, the balance of the car, and they're often talking a lot about oversteer or understeer. Can you explain uh, these terms and, and make them a little clearer for us, please? So the best place to start is probably by just explaining a bit about a tyre. And in particular, what, what we're interested in is what's happening at the contact patch. So that's the bit of the rubber that's touching the road. When a Formula One car goes around a corner, the tyres are always sliding and it's the sliding that allows them to generate the force. So if you imagine a front tyre here, it's pointing in this direction, but it'll be sliding. It'll actually be travelling over here, for instance, and that allows it to generate a cornering force. Now, the difference between where it's pointing and where it's travelling to when it's sliding is called the slip angle of the tyre. Now we're going to have to look at it in terms of the whole car. If we think about what's happening with an entire car, so you've got all four tyres. So there we've got the rear axle of the car. Here you've got the front axle. And we'll draw these with some steering angle on them. Right, so same as we had before. The tyres are pointing in this direction at the front but they may well be traveling in that direction. So there's a front slip angle here, and they're gonna be generating a force to help the car go around the corner. And if you look at the rear, traveling in this direction, the rear and um, the back of the car will also be sliding. So that's where the tire is actually heading. This is where it's pointing, and this forms the rear slip angle. Now, whether a car's understeering or oversteering is purely dependent on what's happening at those slip angles. 